So I just made the most bomb cheddar biscuits ever. You can have them for brunch, for lunch, for dinner, whenever you want to have them. And they're really, really easy to make. Biscuits are not hard, you guys. It takes like 15, 20 minutes from start to finish. So here's how I make mine. Start off with some all-purpose flour. Now, if you see flour at the grocery store, you better snatch that up because it is going like the way the toilet paper was going at the very beginning, okay? This is a rare commodity, girl. They are out here hoarding the flour, okay? Because everybody thinks they're a baker now. Everybody's making bread. You should ignore me. I'm a little bit salty from my grocery trip today. So besides the flour, you're obviously going to need a ton of cheddar cheese. I prefer sharp cheddar, but today I use mild because that's all I could find some baking powder and baking soda and yes there is a big difference check the description box for the exact measurements so that you don't mess this up i added in some garlic powder some onion powder and some fresh herbs now what i decided to add was some green onion and some parsley the, if you don't have anything else please try to add in some green onion because that really enhances the flavor of your cheddar biscuits. Now, I pulled out my janky ghetto grater. It's making an appearance again. And that is because I am using butter that I put in the freezer for about 20 minutes before I started this whole process. Now, having super, super cold butter is key to making great biscuits. The cold butter is really the secret to perfect flaky fluffy biscuits so if you can please 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 try to keep your butter in the fridge or in the freezer for a little bit before you put it into your biscuit mix next i added in some milk and like i said the exact measurements are going to be in the description box below and while you're checking the ingredients don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos i make really bomb videos obviously so you should stick around now when you take your biscuit dough out you want to put it on a nicely floured surface and knead it just a little bit you don't want to knead it too too much because like i said you want cold chunks of butter spread throughout your dough you don't want to melt the butter and warm it up with your hands while you're doing all of that kneading so as you can see i'm just patting down the dough instead of rolling it i didn't even bother rolling it just pat pat everything down and in true ghetto fashion i am using a cup to cut out my perfect round biscuits she just appears to be just a little bit ghetto to me a little bit ghetto you know a little bit hood I hope you realize that making stuff like this is really, really simple. You don't need anything fancy. Just grab the ingredients, if you can find them, and put it together and impress everybody in your quarantine household. Or impress yourself if you are quarantining alone. Have a good time, enjoy, make yourself some brunch. Now, when you're done, you're gonna pop them things in the oven at 450 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes and this is what they should look like they are perfect and ready to be served with your eggs and bacon and whatever else you're having for brunch or you can have them with your dinner so to top everything off if this wasn't already good enough i am making some quick herb butter to put on top so to the herb butter i just had obviously some butter some parsley some garlic and I melted that in the microwave for about 10 seconds. And this is what I got. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am going to be making some really bomb stuff that's coming up. And I hope you guys stick around for that. So like, subscribe, and I will see you next time for my next video. Bye.